Welcome back everyone. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the latest on two of our favorite lithium plays in lake resources and Sayona mining, so make sure you stick around to the end to hear what's going on with them. But first, we need to address what's going on in the markets with this end to the week we just had where Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon and lots of other mega caps are down by significant amounts. So what exactly has driven this? The latest data on September's non-farm payrolls number came in at 263,000 new jobs created in the US with unemployment falling to 3.5%. And this sounds like fantastic news, right? Yes, but not quite, as that's very good news for the economy but bad news for the Federal Reserve and the markets. And this is because this is the opposite of what the Fed is trying to do, where its policies are attempting to crush demand so that unemployment increases and the price of homes and other major goods and services decrease. But this situation with many jobs and few available workers creates an environment where labor has the upper hand and as a result, workers can bargain for higher pay and incentives. And what this does is that it creates an upward inflation pressure as companies' input costs goes up so they raise the prices of their goods and services they sell. And on the demand side, higher wages for workers mean more demand which also pushes up prices and creates even more inflation. And what does the Fed do? The Fed will have to keep tightening financial conditions aggressively until it sees meaningful progress. And this means higher interest rates which puts pressure on the stock market because their interest payment on their debt and risk-free rate of return that's used for every financial model goes up and thereby reducing the value of their assets. And this is even more critical because safe haven sectors such as consumer staples, utilities, real estate and healthcare which are meant to be steady edits of the stock markets are also feeling the pain. Wow. So what can you as investors do to manage these risk-free interest rate rises? Some people are rethinking their overall portfolio structures. For example, suppose they can now earn a guaranteed 4% by buying US treasuries. In that case, they may not want to risk their money by owning a stock that yields around the same with significant more volatility and potentially principal risk. And there are loads of other considerations here. But guess what? I've got this all covered for you in my new book, which just launched on how you can get unstoppable returns in a bear market. Again, not just words, but on days like this, when the market is red and a bloodbath, you can still see green in your portfolio. So you can explore these concepts further in chapters 5 and 6 in the book. So what are you waiting for? So for the price of 3 Starbucks coffees, you could learn insights to make a difference to your portfolios. The book is now live on various Amazon marketplaces, the US, Australia, Canada and more. And so if you want to learn how to navigate the challenging market conditions, then make sure you grab your copy from the link below. And for anyone who has index funds, mutual funds and ETFs in their portfolio, please grab your free copy guide on how to protect your fund wealth from the link below. There is a lot happening in the markets right now, so my purpose here is to support and provide as much insight to my viewers to help you in your investment journey so we all win together. So make sure you check out the links below and grab your copies, build your bear market toolkit and start taking action today. You will not get this from any other YouTube channel and you don't want to leave your investment decisions to chance. So check them out and let's get winning today guys. Thank you so much and with that out of the way, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get on with it with our first lithium favorite here which is Leg Resources, ticker number LLKKF on the OTC and LKE on the Australian exchange which is currently sitting at 67 cents per share with a market cap of 927 million dollars. Lake launched off in Q2, taking us to the moon and hitting highs of nearly $2 per share before a short sell report and the resignation of their previous CEO brought it down to earth. But despite all that volatility, the broader market sell-off, Lake has made up some lost grounds to still be sitting at only modest losses of 13.6% over the year-to-date horizon. That may be red, but given what we've seen this year and what the stock and the company has gone through, I feel this is a decent performance. And even better is that the company is carrying on with their plans, which are even more ambitious than before. So since we called it at 25 cents per share, and more recently again at 40 cents per share, Lake is sitting positive on some sizable gains. So here's what's new with Lake, which you need to be aware of. Lake recently appointed a new CEO and managing director, David Dixon, an industry leader with over 30 years experience in engineering and the energy sector. He has a proven track record in successfully delivering multi-billion dollar resource projects. And with globally significant lithium sites, Lake's aspirational target is to reach capacity of 100,000 tons per annum of lithium carbon equivalent. 
so they believe Mr. Dixon's expertise will support Lake's rapid growth and its mission to become a leader in the supply of responsibly sourced and cost-competitive high-purity lithium, ensuring that their North and South American operations will be fast-tracked to advance key projects and marketing milestones. And the chairman Stuart Crow added that this is a major achievement to have secured a CEO like David as Lake goes from project development to construction to become a major lithium producer. And David combines proven leadership experience and engineering expertise with a deep strategic understanding of off-taker and investor perspectives on energy supply chains. All good news but let's see if David can deliver for us and guess what he's gone straight to business as Lake and WMC Energy executed a conditional framework agreement involving a 10% strategic investment in Lake resources and offtake for up to 25,000 metric tons per annum of battery grade lithium carbon equivalent from the Akachi project. And the initial offtake term is 10 years with an option to extend the term with an additional 5 years. And the offtake is to be priced at an agreed market price formula. And Stu Crow added that the conditional framework agreement delivers a long term strategic alignment with WMC and its supply chain into the European and North American customers. And WMC Energy has a track record of being a market leader in nuclear fuels and expanded into battery materials including lithium to serve predominantly the US and European lithium iron battery supply chain for EVs with their strategic needs. And talking of WMC Energy, they are an asset manager incorporated in 2016 in Amsterdam originally to provide supply chain solutions in the nuclear fuel industry. And in 2021, Sprott Asset Manager selected WMC Energy to be the fiscal manager of the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. And with the help of WMC Energy's uranium trading team, the trust grew from $600 million at IPO to almost $3 billion in net asset value today. And in 2020, WMC expanded into the battery material sector by offering fixed price forward sales solutions and through the development of project financed fiscal asset in the lithium iron battery material space. So an interesting partner to sign an off-take agreement with, but let's watch the space. Next up to our number 2 lithium banger for you today is Sayona Mining Limited, ticker number on the OTC SYAXF and on the Australian exchange SYA which is now sitting at 16 cents per share with a market cap of 1.2 billion dollars. Sayona Online Lake has been one of the few exceptional performers in the stock market this year as despite its huge volatility, it is still up 73% year to date. It reached highs of over 200% in Q2 before tumbling down but if anything it has shown us what it's capable of doing given that they are yet to even start their execution. So here's what Sayona has been up to. First off where Sayona made its entry into the AXX200 as of the 9th of September so it is now trading amongst the top 200 listed firms by market cap on the major Australian exchange and is eligible to be included in most index funds which would enhance their liquidity and accessibility to different investor types. They also announced a pre-feasibility study launched for production of lithium carbonate at the North American Lithium Operation NAL. And Sayona is examining the options for lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide production in Quebec working closely with his partner Piedmont Lithium. And the PFS will examine the option of producing lithium carbonate from spodumene produced at NAL where production of spodumene concentrate is scheduled to commence from Q1 2023 which is only a few months away. And the potential move downstream is a significant potential value adding boost in enhancing the long term value and profitability of the NAL operation. And their managing director Brent Lynch added that the study would provide valuable intelligence on future planned downstream processing in Quebec as moving downstream has always been the plan for Sayona in Quebec to enable a significant increase in profitability. How interesting as we are now nearing 2023 and all those catalysts of our lithium plays are closing to materializing, so a perfect time to load the dips before the next bull run. So some very very interesting and mind blowing prospects ahead for these lithium penny stocks, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always I'd love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on these top lithium stocks in the comment sections below and what other stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. 
Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.